Nicaraguan Puro and certified organic. Let's see what this Reserva original is all about. Let's go. Kendrick Leaf Cigar Reviews today, excited to bring to you the Reserva Original uh, by Placencia. Now, the good thing to note about this cigar right now that completely surprised me is the fact that it's certified organic. So, all the tobaccos used in this cigar were certified organic uh, by OSHA. And what's even cooler is this is all Nicaraguan. Puro. You know, the reason why I like the Puros is the simple fact that, hey, you get to taste the, the tobaccos of the, the region that it was produced, and that's really cool that this is a Puro, and it's also a certified organic, if you're, into, <laughs> if you're into that type of thing. So, we'll see how the cigar tastes, and we will give you a, as an honest as a review as I possibly can with this cigar as I, as I start to dwell into it. So, one thing to note off the bat, uh, the, the cigar is a... It looks like a, it looks like a perfecto uh, in the shape uh, because of how tapered it is on both ends. But um, I do believe that it comes out as a toro. Now this one is a five and three quarter by fifty six, and it showcases a pigtail tip here on the cap of this cigar. And on the foot, it's just got a tapered end here that uh, has a small opening there. So I had to look this one up and, and just found out that the, the wrapper is a Habano, uh, Nicaraguan Habano, and the uh, color is Colorado. So let's go ahead and give this a cut, give it a cold draw, and see what we can pull out of this stick. I'm going to go with the straight cut here because there's not much uh, give after this uh, pigtail tip here, and I want to—I don't want to risk the—I don't want to risk having to uh, have the cigar unravel on me. So I'm just gonna cut it as close as I can to the well, not as close as I can, but uh, just took about about a fourth there after the, uh, the tip there, and uh, no unraveling, so we're good right now. There is a bit of a. Uh, tighter draw on this cigar. But the flavors that are coming through are are oaty. It's just oaty and maybe a hay. But the flavors are clean. I don't have any musk, I don't have any uh, off flavors, I don't have any off flavors at the moment, so it, it, it's it's giving her a rather pleasant uh, cold draw uh, right now. Only thing I'm worried about is the uh, draw is a little bit uh, a little tight, um, and I don't want to cut too much for that. I probably can go a little bit more and see if it uh, opens up for me. So let's go ahead and do that before we get too deep into the cigar. I'll take a little bit more off, and uh, let's see how the draw is now. Well, that did open up just a little bit more, so I think we'll uh, well off and can get to this cigar after removing this banding off the foot here and uh, give it a light and dive into this review. So I do like the fact that the, uh, yeah, there's a lot of adhesive on that one. Uh, the, I mean, the, the banding is pretty cool. I, I do like the Placencia brand. Um, this cigar comes off it a little bit on the, uh, the, the lower end, it's, it's sitting about seven dollars uh, a stick. Uh, you can find it on AtlanticCigar.com. Uh, seven dollars a stick, and uh, I don't know. It, it's it. I, I would consider this a, a semi-budget stick. You know, it depends on you know your pocket, what you consider uh, uh, budget, really. 
uh, for me, it's it's those six sticks that are like five dollars or more much more budget sticks for me. And then once you get above that, they're going to the ten, you know, on range. Then you get a little more uh, higher higher uh, higher quality. You would hope cigars uh, that are out there. But uh, taking this banding off of the uh, the foot area here, there is a man. There is a very noticeable uh, what do I call that tear in the cigar. Let me bring it in close that way you guys can see it. And so that's so that's definitely something I, I don't like to normally see uh, as I get into the cigar. So we'll just have to see how this uh, fares once we, uh, we get the uh, cigar lit and once we get down to that uh, area that's kind of ripped there. It, it wasn't because of the adhesive. Um, uh, it wasn't even near the adhesive. It just seemed like they were trying to hide a little blemish, but it's all good, man. We're going to smoke this again and we're going to smoke this down and we're going to make it do what it do you know how we roll around here let's go ahead and light this up and see what it got not a lot of surface area on this foot to light so it shouldn't take too long let's give it a nice little torch here and see what we got man that draw is tight Man, that is a tight draw. Even after lighting it, it just seemed like it just tightened right back up. And that if I feel on it right now, normally what I do before I even smoke the cigar, uh, it, it feels, you know, it's pretty solid. There's really no give to it. It feels like it's it's packed uh, pretty tight. This is right here, so we'll just uh, let's see if we can make this happen. Should have called this triple thick milkshake. <laughs> hmm. Trying to put my finger on it. There's like a, uh, a broth. Almost like a, a bone broth taste right after this uh, first light here. Yeah, it's like a uh, like a chicken noodle soup kind of brothiness uh, to it. Uh, there's a there's a spicy. Not not overbearing spice, but there's a there is a spicy kick in the uh, uh, the back of the throat here. There is a like a white peppery uh, feel, even maybe with like a green pepper. It's just really rocky. That's kind of weird. Okay, now we're getting some leather. We'll get some wood notes, maybe oak out of this. And the draw is starting to open up. So obviously uh, from that tapered end right there, as soon as you lit it, it just, it feels like it just constricted down a little bit. Uh, once we got past that uh, that little taper point here, uh, now the uh, cigar is starting to open up and more getting more smoke output with the cigar. Uh, the airflow is uh, getting a lot, whole lot better. Only thing is we got a nice little waviness uh, to it right now so we'll try to let the uh, cigar catch up uh, to itself here uh, get down into this first third a little bit and I'll get you back here and uh, with an update okay so I'm down into the point where the uh, blemish in the cigar was and uh, started canoeing a little bit on me um, had to slow it down a little bit of course turn the cigar uh, that way it can catch up to itself it's still lagging behind a bit and it's getting through this uh, area uh, that had that blemish. So just, just trying to let it catch up to itself without having to touch this cigar up, trying to really leave it in its state that it is without having to, you know, influence the cigar at all. You know, if I was at a lounge, I would have 
probably touch it up a little bit. Right now, I'm giving you a cigar review. I just really want you to see what you can possibly deal with uh, with this cigar. So, again, it's not really you know super expensive stick. Been on your budget, but for me, kind of ex expect something like this to happen with a stick at this price range. Um, but I don't think that this will last throughout the whole cigar. You know, there are some really good flavors coming out of this stick right now. The bone broth flavor dissipated a bit. You're getting more, you know, more that woodier, that oakier notes are coming out. The leather notes are coming about. And there's a bit of spice uh, at the end to it. So it's not a cigar that's just all over the place right now. It's, it's pretty simple in what it's offering. And you know, the smoke output is, is pretty decent too. You know, they're the, uh, type draw that was there it's not there anymore and, it, and the draw right now uh, is rather it's, it's pretty open so as you saw there mass amount smoke smoke output and it's it tastes pretty good it's a mild cigar you know it's not strong at all it's got some creamy notes to it and there's a a bit of a, a fruitier uh, note in this uh, first third of this cigar right now and I would say more in a like a green apple nuance that's really faint but it comes off as the the the, the smoke at the last bit of smoke exits out of your palate that's when I picked up that green apple yeah no doubt and the thing is with, with when it comes to these you know these descriptive tastes when it comes out of these cigars it may be hard it's hard for me to pick out flavors of cigars some of the time and a lot of times i pick up the same flavor nuances uh you know as i get on this cigar to the next cigar and you know you really got to sit there and fight and, and really you know reach more into your taste buds and, and, and just remember different tastes of things to kind of compare that to what you're smoking so that's what I try to do. I try to, you know, not like I'm sitting here looking at an oak tree or nothing, but you know, if you ever cut into oak, you can get smell it and kind of anticipate what it would probably taste like on the palate. You know, uh, leather again, hope you're not out there eating leather, but again, once you smell a, a brand new belt uh, that is genuine leather, you know, it's it's got that pungent, you know, aroma to it. So when you, when you again, think about the taste, yeah, that would probably taste like leather. So. Um, Kind of get out of your comfort zone uh, when you're trying to taste these cigars and really think about what you're tasting. And you know, just try to expand a little bit. You know, do some some different tastings of, uh, of whiskey or bourbon, and then look up the descriptions on what nuances that those bourbons and whiskeys are giving. And do you taste those in the cigars that you that you're smoking? You know, that's a, another good way of doing it. And or wine, you know, the musk, uh, the the oak. Another good way to get it. Know what oak tastes like. You know, it's it's, it's, it's easy, you know, super easy. And uh, just challenge yourself to do that and you'll, you'll find that you'll, you'll be able to taste a lot more different nuances in these cigars. Yeah, that's, it's, it's catching up to itself right now and I'm kinda enjoying it. I was kinda hoping I wasn't for a second there <laughs> but I'm starting to really enjoy this stick. You know, it, it seems like a good session cigar. Uh, one that you can kind of light up in the morning and drink with the coffee. Um, and if you're not trying to smoke something too heavy, or if you had, you know, uh, you, your first cigar was a heavy one, maybe you could finish off. Mm, I wouldn't say finish off with this because it wouldn't match the flavor of a stronger cigar. It would, this that would totally wipe this flavor off a bit. But if you are trying to finish uh, with a lighter cigar, um, you don't want to overdo it with nicotine, this will probably be the one to finish off with for sure. And it's just catching up to itself still, so. <laughs> and it, it actually starting to level out a little bit. So once I get rid of that little, that little flag there, hanging there, uh, it should be fine. There it went. So I'm gonna keep smoking this down until the uh, the second third here and give you an update if anything changes. Y'all stand by. 
All right, Cam Fogel, back into the review of the Reserva Original uh, by Placencia Cigars. Uh, getting into the second third now, and it's, it's turning out to be a good cigar, y'all. I can't lie. Ash is holding on strong. It fixed itself. Pretty even. Only downfall that I can say with this stick right now is the fact that there still seems to be some unraveling going on with the stick, slightly. But I still see it. Uh, on the body of the cigar, uh, where this cigar was wrapped, it just seems like the, the seams want to just swell up and, and come up a bit. So the wrapper is probably very thin as I can see it right now on the cigar. and. It just is what it is, you know, uh, again, but it sticks, y'all. So flavor update with the stick, not overwhelming. The creaminess is still there. There is now the woodiness, uh, but with a pencil shape. So you're getting that pencil lead that pencil shaving nuance coming into the second third of this stick. Nothing other than that, nothing major. The night is a, it's a be beautiful ash that's a bit flaky, of course, where I had that uh, blemish in the cigar earlier. But the ash is it's a nice gray, it's a nice gray, uh, salt and pepper gray color there. Um, you know, and, it, and it's nice and open. It, it's so far, I'm, I'm gonna give you my final thought yet, but. I'm gonna keep on smoking this down. Let's see if this thing changes it all for me. We'll, we'll get down to this a little bit, give you another update in the final third of this, uh, this stick here. All right, Ken Folk, I'm back into the final third of the Reserva Original by Placencia. And you know what? <clears throat> it ain't bad. It's not bad for what it is, okay? It's a mild stick that offers lighter flavors, okay? You gotta expect that with this stick. That's what it is, that's what they presented it to the world for it to be, and, and that's all you're gonna get out of it. You know, if you're into the darker uh, flavors that cigars have, this won't be for you, but don't, don't just throw it off to the wayside because there could be a date that you can enjoy this cigar. You know, it's 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 balanced pretty well. Flavors uh, that I'm picking up right now, it, they're just toasted, nuttier uh, uh, flavors right now. So a lot of the flavors I was getting in the beginning, they're oh, have died off and I'm just getting, you know, lighter, toastier, uh, nuttier flavors now. I don't pick up any leather in it and it's certainly not a super peppery cigar at all. It just is what it is, folks. You know, if you got a beginner cigar, somebody that, that's not really in tune to cigars like you may be, then, you know, give them this one. You know, I, myself, um, will keep a few on hand. Now, as far as a box purchase, I don't know yet. It's worthy of a box purchase. Uh, box by though. I'm getting twisted. It's worthy of it. Um, and I'll, I definitely will keep a few on hand. Uh, but I just don't see myself buying a box in this format. You know, they there are different formats uh, that are, are available uh, for this stick. You know, you got your Robusto, you got your Toro. Um, and I believe there is one more. Uh, there is the one second. Let me look that up real quick. So you got the, it's one called, so this one uh, on Atlantic is called the Cortez. Uh, it's the five and three quarters, 556, but you know, it, it to make it easier, it, it's kind of like a Perfecto, uh, but in a, in a longer Toro format. So you got your, your, your Cortez, you got the Toro, you got your uh, uh, Nestico, uh, uh, which is a, probably your, your more Corona size. 
and you got your Churchill. Of course, you're a seven by 48. So if you're in for a longer session, go for that Churchill. And again, again you probably won't have those uh, uh, effects like I did uh, with the draw, with the tough draw that I was having. You probably won't have those with those other formats. When you get to the Perfectos and you have a constricted end on both, on both ends of those cigars, you run into the problem of having a, a tighter draw, especially if that cigar has a uh, it has been wrapped uh, rather tightly. So, you know, you got to be wary of that uh, when you when you're purchasing your cigars, and just don't throw the cigar to the side if you're having those problems. Just try to cut it a little bit more, you know, and wait for that cigar to come out of that that constricted part, and it, it should hopefully uh, turn out pretty good for you. So, again, y'all. The cigar is pretty pretty consistent, you know. There, this it's pretty good, you know. I'd, I'd keep a few up in the humidor, like I said, and and hopefully uh, you will too. If you have smoked this cigar, let me know what you think in the comment section below, y'all, and, and and let me know what you thought about it. Did you like it? Did you dislike it? What were your thoughts? And hopefully uh, you enjoyed this video today. I'm gonna go ahead and bounce out of here <laughs> and finish this cigar. And if you like the content, please like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, you know, I appreciate y'all joining me today. You know, you're, you're, you're trusting me, the likes to keep me going. Let's me know that hopefully I'm engaging in you guys and giving you guys some proper content. So again, you know what I say, y'all be kind to one another, be kindred in the leaf. Until next time, we'll see you in the next Kindred Leaf Cigar Review. We'll see you next time.